everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the love readings um sorry not love readings general readings <laughs> uh sorry i want to apologize for not being able to upload ahead of time i've been extremely busy thank you guys very much for those of you guys that have contacted me for private readings uh those of you guys that have came uh, to visit me for private consultations thank you guys very much I've been extremely busy with all those private readings with spell work with the rituals and rites uh, for all my clientele so again I've been extremely busy I apologize for that so anyways let's move on I do want to mention uh, the last four to three months of the year are always the busiest for me it's always been that way um, and I'm starting to feel the craziness start to happen already so just for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations now is the time to book your readings uh, because I can promise you availability at the end of the year, okay? Just an FYI for you guys to be uh, consciously aware of that because, you know, I try the best I can to balance everything, but usually the, the last three months of the year gets really, really crazy for me. So, again, uh, just for you guys to know. Anyways, let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, before I get into the tarot cards, I do want to give you guys or provide to you guys the messages that were given to me through spirit channeling. So um, what I did for the month of September is I actually have been uploading since yesterday, but I have been channeling for each zodiac sign, um, moon, sun and rising uh, to the most prominent messages that were given to you guys from spirit. So again, um, let's get into this these are for Leo again like I said Sun Moon and Rising so Leo's for the month of September 2017 uh, building growing um, putting intentions are going to be extremely important for you guys at the present time tonight is full moon so again uh, you know it it's it's very important for you guys to put them intentions out there and the reason why I say that is because you know, spirit communicated that anything that has to do with building, with wanting to create or wanting to achieve or growing in any sense, you know, shape or form, now is the time to put your intention. So what that means is you're vibrating to a very high frequency at the present time. You're able to call upon you or bring towards you that which you're wanting at the present time. So it could have to do with the fact that, uh, you know, the stars and uh, basically, um, the universe is aligning everything to be able to give to you or give on to you. So again, try the best you can to use those high frequency energies and levels to the best of your advantage by focusing truly on what you're wanting to attract, whether it's love, whether it's more abundance, more growth, um, anything that has to do with advancement and, um, and growth. Okay. So just know that and understand that. Um, for the month of September, it's going to be very important for you guys to challenge yourself. Uh, don't go with what's easiest for you or what you already know. So this could be in the business front. This could be in um, anything, any form of any way that you make money. Don't go with what's easiest for you. So what that means is for those of you guys that are currently without a job or currently looking for a job, um, don't necessarily just apply in, in what you're aware of or what you've done already, but challenge yourself, okay? For the month of September all the way to the middle of October, it's going to be very important for you guys to be able to see those opportunities. So what I mean by being able to see, um, the Spirit said very clearly, if you make up your mind that this is the only way you're going to be able to receive money, meaning if you have a job and that's the only way in your head consciously that you can accept that's the only way you make money, that's the only way money can come to you, then more than likely that's the only way it's going to come to you. So the more broader or the more you open yourself up to new opportunities and new advancements, there's going to be opportunities for you. There's going to be side jobs coming towards you. There's going to be ways where you can tap into doing things on the side that can actually turn into something that is a profession, okay? And it could be something in the creative arts. So again, pay very close attention to that and put your intentions out there, Leos. Let's see. 
So there's an ending cycle for you guys and there's definitely new beginnings. So again, it correlates with what I just told you guys. The more receptive you are to releasing. So what I mean by receptive is if you don't resist change. So if you're working, doing a certain type of position and one day you go into work and they tell you, hey, can you cover for this person because they're not coming and they're, you know, their position is very different from what you do. Don't shy away from it. Don't, uh, you know, don't hesitate about it. Don't complain about it. Accept it for what it is and do what is expected of you. I guarantee you, you're not only just going to learn more, but become more of an asset to that company. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. I know it's going to connect only with a few. But again, the message in a broader perspective is open up yourself to new opportunities because now is the time. Know and understand that. Also, it is full moon tonight, so put your intentions out there. Write it down. Um, you know, you could write it down on a piece of paper, whatever it is that you're wanting to accomplish, and burn it in the full moon at night. Uh, my preference would be 9 p.m. And the collect the ashes um, when you burn them when you burn it outside to the full moon. Uh, collect those ashes, and what you could do is you can actually put them in a little jar or something and keep that with you or you can just put it in a little container and put it in your you know under your bed or something um that's going to trigger you it's going to trigger your brain to remember those goals that you set out for yourself and more than likely you'll see that happen or manifest within the next two to three months okay so anyways let's get into your reading leos let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of september 2000 oof okay cards are popping out of everywhere okay spirit what are the messages for leos for the month of september 
For some of you guys, there's going to be partnerships playing a very important role for the month of September all the way to December. Okay, so what that means is, again, the strength card definitely talks about having strength and going through difficulties or having the courage to go through difficulties and come out stronger. But because it's right under the Two of Cups, it definitely talks about passions because we do have the Ace here. So again, um, it's your passions being ignited, but not just passions. It's also talking about partnerships because there's the Two of Cups here. So anyways, you have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles could be a representation of an Earth sign. It uh, doesn't have to be their moon sign or rising. It could just be the qualities of an earth sign, um, which would be a person that's very practical, a person that's very good with money and financing and uh, basically dealing with money. Um, this could be a person that you go to or it could be a person that helped you get the job where you're at at the present time. Um, for those of you guys that are not working at the present time, it could be a person coming in and letting you know where they're hiring or actually assisting you in the pro in the hiring process, okay? The Eight of Pentacles definitely does talk about working very, very diligently or working very hard towards achieving a goal, which the goal ultimately has to do with finding stability because you do have the Four of Wands here. Um, so anyways, you have the Empress card here and the Empress card right next to the King of Pentacles is you're going to be very abundant, financially abundant for the coming three months, okay? That's what I'm being told. Uh, the Empress definitely talks about abundance and having, being able to share, but it also speaks about going within yourself or believing in yourself. You have two sexual cards here. The Empress is a very sexual card to me um, because it is the mother, uh, which is the procreation type of energy. And you have the strength card. So for some of you guys, there's a king of pentacles here coming into your life or a person that's going to be reaching out. It can also be um, another Leo like yourself that is going to spark an interest in you getting to the point of a very strong physical attraction for one another. OK, because again, like I said, the empress and the strength is definitely strong sexual energy. Um, so you have the six of wands here. The six of wands is feeling very victorious or getting to a point where you feel victorious and you've achieved um, the balance that you've been looking for. OK, the two also speaks about duality. So it speaks about um, Again, for some of you guys, I feel that you guys are on this journey where you're trying to manifest or you're trying to bring about abundance and stability within the home life. And the two, again, like I said, speaks about duality, but it also speaks about um, two being one and one making, becoming, or two, two people uh, becoming one in a unionship. But again, because I am seeing the Empress right next to the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups, there's definitely going to be feeling or having the feeling like you, when you start seeing things move and manifest for you, you're going to feel like you've, you were the one that achieved that. You were the one that called that towards you. And you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to um, understand the, the consciousness and the subconscious are correlated and connected. So what I mean by that is, again, like I said, for those of you guys that are on a spiritual journey at the present time and you're trying to manifest uh, practicing some type of law of attraction, uh, frequency, energy, uh, pulling of energy, anything like that, um, you are going to be feeling at the end of the or at the middle of the month, you're going to be seeing, physically seeing things manifest for you. And it's going to like make you feel. 10 times more confident about yourself and believing in yourself, okay? For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, it could be six months, it could be six years, or it could be a year because you do have the ace here. There's definitely partnerships coming up, again, like I said, very strongly for you guys. And I feel that some of you guys may lack a little bit of confidence, which that's something rare in Leo's. <laughs> but definitely, I feel that for the month of September, second week going into the third week, you're going to start building yourself up. So what I mean by building yourself up, you're going to be experiencing uh, the wanting to feel sensual, the wanting to feel sexy uh, for you males out there, the wanting to, uh, you know, change up your hairstyle, change up your, um, the way you dress, your fashion sense. So there's going to be like a makeover of some sort that's going to make you become more in control of yourself or more, feeling like you're more sexually attractive. Uh, so it's like amplifying that type of energy because I do see a lot of sexuality for you guys 
for the month of September going into October. So anyways, you do have the Eight of Cups here. Whoops. You do have the Eight of Cups here, so you have two Eights. Okay? So there's definitely transitions going on for you guys in regards to money and in regards to love. Now, the Eight of Cups definitely talks about walking away or being able to uh, move away from a relationship or detach yourself from a relationship that no longer serves you. Um, it's It's been, you know, you have the Eight of Pentacles here, so someone's giving up. It could be you or it could be the partner that you're with, uh, for those of you guys that are dating. It's like someone's been putting too much effort into the relationship, and at this point, they're willing to walk away. Whether it's you or whether it's your partner, it is a general rating. The Seven of Pentacles definitely talks about you getting to a point of looking back or trying to have a moment to take whatever it is that's being given or whatever it is that's happening and correlating that, going within yourself and truly analyzing what it is that you want. For some of you guys that are, again, like I said, uh, dating and it's the other person that's thinking of walking away, I feel that you're not going to get it or you're not going to put effort until you see them physically like move from that relationship. And it's a shame if you let that happen because, again, it's like you're, someone's putting too much effort into this relationship and you're not or they are, sorry, you are and they're not, okay? And it's like kind of like when you guys break up and then they start coming around wanting you back, that kind of energy. So watch that for you guys that uh, it may be you who's taking the person for granted. Now, you do have the Queen of Wands here, and the Queen of Wands definitely is a representation of a fire sign. I feel this is your energy. So you're going to be ending the month very strongly, Leos. You guys are going to be very sure, very grounded, um, very abundant. I do see a lot of abundance for you guys, so kudos to you guys. For those of you currently in a monogamous relationship or in a marriage, I definitely see that there's a transition, again, with a lot of money struggles that have has been happening um, but finally, by the min the middle of the month, you guys are going to start balancing, feeling like there's more balance, um, being able to, you know, put a little bit money away and not just spend it completely the way you get your check, putting it back out to payments and all of that. You're going to be a actually be able to uh, make more money. So it could be overtime. It could be working very long hours. Um, but you're finally being able to find that stability and that abundance that you've been looking for for quite a while now. Um, again, two eights here can also represent, again, like I said, for those of you in a current uh, long-term committed relationship, working very hard towards achieving goals. There may be moves for you guys as well, like physical moves, like residency. Um, for those of you guys that are married, um, looking into purchasing your first home or another home or moving away. Uh, but there's definitely some type of travel here with this eight of cups, okay? So anyways, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the best. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we will see from each other at the middle of the month for the love readings. Okay? Bye.